to CBS 7. I'm here in Grand Falls with some rowdy Cowboys as they get set for their state championship pep rally. I'm joined by senior Thomas Burns. Thomas, tell me, this week's got to be one of the craziest since you've been here four years. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the, the craziest it's ever been around here. Definitely so, and the pep rally is set for 6 o'clock. Guys, tell me how excited you are just to see the community come together. It's excited, you know, Mon has coming down to support us, everybody, so we're going to do it for them, do it for Grand Falls, and we're going to get it done. All right, y'all ready to go on Saturday? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. It's going to be a good showdown against Milford. For now, let's check in with some sports around the headlines. If the NFL doesn't work out, Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson will always have a job waiting for him on the baseball diamond. That after the Texas Rangers selected the 25-year-old signal caller in today's AAA phase of the Rule 5 draft at Major League Baseball's winter meetings. Wilson was drafted in 2010 by the Rockies, but chose to head back to the gridiron. Wilson said today that he was honored by the pick and wants to join the Rangers at training camp. After the Dallas Cowboys finished 14th in total defense last year under Rob Ryan, Ryan got the boot to make way for Monty Kiffin. So much for that. The Cowboys head into Sunday against Green Bay, allowing an NFL worst 427 yards per game. But Jason Garrett stayed positive today at Valley Ranch. Oh, I think there are a lot of things we can count on. We're going to make the necessary corrections coming out of that game from the other night and, uh, and get better and prepare as best we can for this ball game against Green Bay and stay focused on the task at hand. The Texans' season is a lost cause, but Houston running back Ben Tate continues to give 100%. Tate will be back on the field Sunday against the Colts, playing through four broken ribs. Tate said it's all to let teams know how tough he is. Well, Grand Falls royalty is tough. We've seen that throughout what's been a remarkable season for the Cowboys, and it's earned them a top spot in the finale. For now, though, it's time to celebrate in the pep rally. We'll have an inside look tonight at 10. But first, there's more coming up on CBS 7 News at 6. In Grand Falls, Marshall Hughes. CBS 7 Sports. Stay with us. Jay Tatum, that's right. I'm here in Grand Falls with some rowdy Cowboys as they get set for their state championship pep rally. Get an inside look coming up right here on CBS 7. We'll be right back.